was Christmas on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard. Thomas and Toby were busy carrying people and parcels up and down the branch line. Everyone was happy. Only the coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, were complaining. Oh, they came here before Christmas. Oh, come on. Worse than festive spirit. Christmas Day is almost here, said Thomas. By the side of the track was a little cottage with a familiar figure waving to them. It's Mrs. Kindly. Peep, peep. Happy Christmas, whistled Thomas. Thomas always felt better for seeing her. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without Mrs. Kindly. When work was over, Thomas went to see the other engines. All their coats had been polished. Huh, said Gordon. Just look at us. The driver will have to work fast to get you as smart as us. <laughs> Never mind that. I have something important to tell you. Do you realize it's been a whole year since Mrs. Kindly saved her from a nasty accident? Yes, of course. You told us how she waved her red dressing gown out of her window to warn you about a landslide ahead. And you and Toby gave her presents! And the luck and colour sent her to Poland to get better! But the rest of us have never thanked her properly. Exactly. So now I think we should give her a very special Christmas party. Everyone was getting very excited. And the drivers felt sure that Sir Topham Hap would agree, as indeed he did. The engines were all busy making plans when silence fell. Sir Topham Hat had bad news. The weather's changed badly. Mrs. Kindly is snowed up. Toby says he'll help to rescue her. You must help too, Thomas. There's no party unless you do. Thomas hated snow, but he said yes, bravely, sir. We must rescue her, sir. There's a good engine. You and Toby will manage splendidly. Thomas charged the snow drifts fiercely. Sometimes he swept them aside, sometimes they stuck fast. And the men had to loosen them. But at the cutting near the cottage, they could go no further. Look at that! exclaimed Thomas's fireman. Peep peep! Here we are! An answering wave came from an upstairs window. Then they heard a familiar sound. That's Terrence! Sure enough, Terrence had a snowplow and was working hard to clear a pass to the railway line in safety. At long last, the rescue was complete. Percy took the tired workman home. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly, and promised to take care of her cottage as he watched them all set off. The engines made good time. No more snow had fallen, but the yard was dark. There was no one to be seen. Thomas's heart sank. Suddenly, all the lights went on. What a marvelous sight awaited Mrs. Kindly. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. I'm very proud of you all. Mrs. Kindly especially thanked the smaller engines. Thomas and Toby are all friends. And now, Percy, you're my friend too. Percy was very pleased. Three cheers for Mrs. Kindly! We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends thought it was the best Christmas ever, and Mrs. Kindly could think of nowhere she would rather live than here, with them, on the island of Sodor.